basic tomato sauce without meat. So I've got some onions going and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You want to cook them until they're soft. And now I'm going to add some garlic. About two cloves of garlic would be nice. You get that soft. And while that's getting soft, I want to talk to you about the tomatoes that you should use for this, which are right here. These are plum tomatoes. And when you buy them canned, you want to make sure that you're looking for something that says San Marzano, because that means it's a type of plum tomato that's very meaty and comes from the south of Italy, really around the region of Campania, where they have, where they grow a lot of these types of plum tomatoes. So this sauce goes together in about 10 minutes. It's done. It's a meatless sauce, and you can use it for everything, for the lasagne that we're going to make today, for pizza, for whatever else you would need tomato sauce for. So now we put in the sauce, and here's a little trick. You know how it splatters all over? Well, if you just put your spoon in the pot and pour the tomatoes against the spoon, it will not splatter all over you and all over the stove. So the tomatoes go in, and when I do this, I make a big batch of sauce because there's no sense going through this three times. So the tomatoes are in. I want to give that some salt. You want to use a little sea salt for this. A little bit of pepper. And then the magic ingredient that I always use for a basic tomato sauce, sugar. A little pinch of sugar just beefs up the flavor of the tomatoes. And really, that's all there is to it. But you could also add wine. And any good red wine would be great for this. Any wine that you can drink, you can cook with. So we're going to put a little bit of red wine in here. And if you don't like wine, you could add some balsamic vinegar. And then the only other thing that we need to add is some fresh basil. So you get yourself some fresh basil leaves, and you just give them just a little chop. I'm going to add them now, and then at the end of the cooking, you want to add basil again because the oils kind of dissipate as they cook. So I add some into the sauce now, and then at the end, I'll add it again. You put the cover on, and in about 10 minutes, you have a classic no-meat tomato sauce.